Stefan Meyer is head of natural resources and mining at Fairfax Investment Bank, and he joins me in the studio. John, thank you so much for coming in. Morning. Now, we were just hearing uh, from Elliot, actually, we're expecting the Glencore shares to exchange hands at 550 pence. It seems expensive. No, I don't think so. I mean, I think this, this, is, a, this is an amazing deal. It's, it's a great company. It's got consistent long-term growth. There are some incredible assets underneath, mining assets within the group. And I, and I think investors are, are going to enjoy the benefits of these. And you think that the share price can continue to rise in coming weeks? I mean, we understand that, of course, um, some index funds that fail to get some shares may be looking to buy some today. So that's going to give a boost. But is that just going to be in the short term? I think they could have priced this much higher. There, there's very strong demand there. Yes, there'll be a few, a few investors that will look to, to take profits on the shares quite quickly. But I think there'll be more than enough long-term demand to soak all that up and I think these these shares will go from 550 six pounds 650 I mean I think it'll be a very good start but you think it should have been priced much higher it could have been priced much higher I think it could have been priced much higher I think they priced it to go I think they priced it to give it a good start remember Glencore that is mid range that, that's kind of you know that medium range which is what just easier to handle I, I, I think investors have said look we will give you more money uh, at, at lower rates um, but I don't think that's the issue here. I think the fact is that everybody wants to see this have a good start to life. The, the big sovereign wealth funds that are backing this, are going, they are there with firepower and they will, they will give this a lift. John, help me to understand, they want to, they're here, they do have firepower. They want it to get to a good start. Why? Just to show that the commodities bust is not nearing an end or, or is it really because they believe that this company has potential? This, this company has huge potential. If you look at where it's come from 10 years ago and the way it's grown and built its business, hugely opportunistic, wonderful assets in, in the asset base. Yes, there are some higher risk assets in there that we can poke fun at, but actually the core assets are, are first class and I think there is the potential for a deal with Extrata later on down the line, or maybe even they go for, for a bigger fish like Rio Tinto. So I think there's, there's a lot to, get to happen here. And the deal with Extrata, possible deal with Extrata, is going to be the main focus going forward for Glencore? There's going to be a lot of chat about that, and, and, and clearly a lot of investors are looking for that sort of deal. I don't think that's necessarily what's going to happen. And I think, well, clearly Extrata are going to use some of this money, or quite a lot of this money, to expand its core business build up uh, you know, the better quality assets within the portfolio and I, and I think they'll continue to transform themselves. Remember Glencore is the Goldman Sachs of the commodity business and it's a very hard business to, to beat. John, overall we saw two weeks ago a little bit of a downfall for a lot of the commodity prices. It seems that some of them may have been overheated. Are you concerned of asset bubbles or can you know, prices keep on going higher? We're, we're always looking out for this sort of thing and I think one of the problems is we, we, you can call an asset bubble long before it really develops in, into a dangerous form. We're looking for commodity prices to track broadly sideways. Remember the prices are creating incredible profits for mining companies at the moment. There's no great reason for, for a collapse for a here. Gold and silver likely to, to continue to do well, particularly gold. If you look at the sources of supply for gold, a lot of that has, has, has been pulled back. Central banks aren't sellers anymore, and that means that there's several hundred tons a year of gold that's not feeding into the market anymore. That means prices are, are just going to move higher and higher and higher. Similar this for, is on the for, assumption, John, that of course China doesn't go through a hard landing. Yeah, hard economic landings it would do impact commodities, there's no doubt about that. But remember, the world is generally growing. I know Japan has slipped back, but, but that hasn't killed commodity prices. So actually, the, the, the market looks remarkably robust. Despite inflation, if inflation gets out of control, will it automatically actually hurt some of the commodity prices? Well, if inflation is not out of control yet. Commodities are, do respond to inflation, but I don't think inflation is, is a, a huge danger for commodity prices at, at this point in time. In fact, if anything, they're slightly helpful. John, thank you so much. John Meyer there.